In this video we will cover NMR peak integration. The output of ICON NMR collected proton spectra will have integrals set by a command called ABS. This command decides what peaks are significant enough to integrate, and cuts up the spectrum into regions that contain one or more resonances. It also performs a baseline correction that helps give more accurate integrals. These integral regions are going to be useful for a lot of cases, but you are not limited to the output from the ABS command. The default parameters that ABS uses are pretty conservative with how far apart peaks are before it breaks them into two regions, and how long the integrals are extended, and how large a peak needs to be before it is included. We are not going to go into how to adjust these parameters since it is easier to just manually define and edit integral regions. If you want to manually edit integrals you should first remove the baseline correction applied during the auto-processing by retransforming the FID with the EFP command. The spectrum phase should be checked and corrected if necessary. For more accurate integrals you should then correct the baseline with the BAS command. Type BAS in the command line and after you hit return a dialog box will open. Make sure the auto-correct baseline using polynomial, radio button is selected. All other parameters can be left with their defaults. Click OK and review the baseline for any severe distortion. Retransform with EFP if you are not happy with the corrected baseline. Next, find the Integrate tab above the spectrum to enter the integration routine. Note there are many buttons available for the integration option. Our manual has a full description but we will work with a few here. When you start with manual integration you have a choice to edit the integrals produced by ABS, or remove the current integral regions and start from scratch. The decision depends on the extent of the edits required. If you want to delete all the current integrals you first have to select them. To do this click on the icon with a bracket around a green rectangle. Once selected you should see green highlights at the bottom of the integral regions under the displayed spectrum. The icon with a bracket and red X will delete the selected integrals. You should be left with a non-integrated spectrum. The first two icons, the plain bracket, and bracket with the wavy line above it are the two tools you need to create new regions. The difference between these two is that the plain bracket is used when your peaks are all separated from other peaks and the baseline is flat going into and out of the peaks. The wavy line icon does a local baseline correction and is better to use when you are trying to integrate peaks that are near other peaks. It is also useful if the peaks are on a tail of a larger nearby peak. Both icons will turn yellow when their function is active. You can turn them off with a left mouse click. When no tool is active you can use the normal topspin expansion tools to adjust the spectrum for easier region creation. Click to select the tool to activate and you are now ready to create regions. Move the mouse across the spectrum and position the red vertical cursor to a position at either side of the peak you are interested in. Click and hold down the left mouse button, then move the cursor to the other side of the peak. Release the mouse button and the region should be created. This works in either direction. Repeat these steps for every region you want to integrate. You should always leave some baseline on each side of a peak because NMR line shapes are Lorentzian and tail off very gradually. You will lose significant intensity if you cut the region too tightly. For this reason, it is always difficult to integrate peaks that are very close to each other. The icon with an integral curve and a red vertical line will allow you to cut a single region into two or more regions. Select this tool and position the red cursor onto a region where you would like to cut, and then click the left mouse button. This tool is very useful for taking the regions ABS created and cutting them in smaller regions and can save you some time with working on integrals. The undo button can be used to reverse the last operation. When you are happy with the regions you created, you can now define the values of the regions. Notice that when you create regions from scratch, the first region is set to 1. To define a region to a set value, move the red cursor onto that region and click the right mouse button. A menu will open. Choose Calibrate Current Integral and a dialog box will open. Enter the value you want for the selected integral. In this case this is a peak from a methylene proton so I will set it to 2. Click OK. All the integral should change to be in proportion with the calibrated region. Here we can see that there are two methyl resonances, two methylene, and an area with four protons. 
This is a spectrum of 3 heptanone, and the two methylenes adjacent to the carbon eel have similar chemical shifts and are in this region. In cases you do not know the origin of the peaks, or you are interested in comparing the relative intensities or determined product yields, you can use the normalize function. Move the red cursor onto any region and click the right mouse button. Choose Normalize Sum of Integrals. A dialog box will open. Enter the value. In this case I will set it to 100. Click OK. The integral values should now add up to 100. The other buttons on the row are mostly for changing the size and position of the integral curves. However, they have limited use since their changes do not carry over to plotting or the data window when you exit the integration tab. When you are done you can save your changes and exit with the button with a floppy disk and return icon. Abandon your changes with the button with only the return icon. The save, as, button, with the A in the icon, will allow you to save integral regions and apply them to other spectra. This is very useful for analyzing multiple samples with similar composition. See the staff if you would like more information about using this function. This concludes our video on NMR integration. Thanks for watching.